That Sam I am. That Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? Good morning, everybody. Yes, today we are talking about an American children's author, political cartoonist, illustrator, poet, animator, screenwriter, and filmmaker. You guessed right, Dr. Zeus. He's well known for writing in rhyme, inventing creatures with fancy names, creating imaginative characters and clever stories. Boys, he's also well known for his quotes. I'm going to read a few quotes to you and share them with you. One of them is, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. And here's another one from the Horton Here's a Who. Don't give up, I believe in you all. A person's a person, no matter how small. I've decided to focus on the next two quotes for our assembly. When you think things are bad, when you feel sour and blue, when you start to get mad, you should do what I do. Just tell yourself, ducky, you're really quite lucky. Some people are much more, oh, ever so much, oh, muchly, much, much more unlucky than you. And the next one is, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Boys, today I'm going to talk to you about gratitude. During this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, it's very easy for all of us, including us adults and teachers, to become quite grumpy. We feel that we can't have briars with family and friends or socialize. We feel sorry for ourselves that we can't go on play dates or travel and go on wonderful holidays, go to the beach or go to the bush. But during this time, there are many other things that we have forgotten to be grateful for. Have you woken up and heard the beautiful birds still singing? Have you thought about the wonderful time that you've spent with your families? The winter sun, our seasons, our beautiful school, the helpers at our school, our beautiful homes, our parents who love us, and our lovely wholesome meals we have at home. Boys, when we enter the lunchroom, we need to be mindful to greet everybody respectfully and to say thank you for the food that is dished onto our plates. Say thank you to the support staff for cleaning our classrooms and bathrooms so thoroughly to make sure that we are kept safe and healthy. Say thank you to your teachers for their lessons that they prepare for you and the report that they wrote for you. Say thank you to God for his blessings. Boys, let us pray. Thank you for giving us the strength to cope with change in our environment and to deal with difficult times. Thank you for all the things we are blessed with in our lives, Lord. Please help us to be mindful, to have gratitude, and to say thank you more often. In Jesus' name, Amen. Boys, have a wonderful week, and remember to be grateful for all that you have. And to the boys at home that are learning online, thank you. Say thank you to your parents for their support, and to the teachers for helping you with their online work as well. Thank you, boys. Have a wonderful week.